So we're here at the ID Tech X show, and uh, who are you? I'm David Arthur, I'm the CEO of Chasm Advanced Materials, and we're uh, exhibiting today, um, we're featuring Agent, our carbon nanotube hybrid transparent conductive film materials. So, um, how does it work? Um, first of all, um, a, carbon nano, a hybrid material is a case where you take one material, combine it with another, where one plus one is much greater than two, something like 10 or 100. And so in our carbon nanotube hybrid, we have silver nanowires that are, print, are coated onto a surface, and we have carbon nanotube materials that are printed on top of the silver nanowires. So this noodle-like structure and this rigid rod type structure is the hybrid material. So you, you do hybrid between uh, uh, silver nano and carbon? That's exactly correct. And the, this carbon nanotube hybrid transparent conductive film is better than either material alone. The silver nanowires are highly conductive and highly transparent. And the carbon nanotubes are very robust materials. And the printing technology allows circuit patterns to be made very affordably. So the combination it allows for better performance and lower cost. Um, so what do you talk about here in this part? This is our, uh, our carbon nanotube ink platform. And basically we combine carbon nanotubes that we make. We have a factory in Norman, Oklahoma that makes the carbon nanotubes. We mix in polymer binder. And then we have our own proprietary ink vehicle technology. The three of these ingredients get uh, mixed together to make an ink. And this ink can be printed using conventional screen printing, which is very convenient. It can be dried at low temperature, which makes it compatible with plastic film substrates. And the end result is low cost, printed, flexible electronics. So uh, here you have some demos uh, sh showing off the implementation, uh, how, how this is, this is set up to work. Uh, like all these right here. So, um, so hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Ken Klaproth. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for CHASM. And I'd like to show you some of the demonstrations that we have available for people that are coming to the show today. So, um, what are these? We have a variety of different products that have been made by our uh, technology. The transparent antennas give you better performance at a better form factor. Uh, covering a broad range of uh, spectrums for, uh, for wireless. Uh, these can be fit into or onto uh, an, an existing platform. Transparent heaters that are formable and flexible. So this uh, is hot? This is hot. Uh, so what's the advantage of doing the transparent heater? So the transparent heater um, allows you to place the heater in front of any object without it being seen. So in an automotive application where uh, micro wires might interfere with an optical camera, uh, the transparent heater is optically clear so it can in ensure that all of your safety devices are still running. Would that be in the seat? Uh, it would be in the windshield, it could be in the headlamps, and it could also be in the seat. And electric oh. uh, car companies are looking to get rid of um, the air conditioning that occurs where you're heating and cooling air and put the heating sources and cooling sources right next to where the people are for better uh, um, mileage on the car. So um, how transparent is it? There, there's got to be a little bit of uh, loss of transparency, right? There is a little bit of loss of transparency, but we have a full range of materials to give you everything from 99% VLT to 90% VLT and the conductivity that's necessary for the application. So uh, you're able to mix different recipes or what's it called? Yeah, the nice thing that about the CNT hybrid, as David had mentioned, is we can tune the recipe to be most effective to give you the combination of uh, transparency and conductivity that's necessary for your application. Are you in mass, mass deployment? Is it huge already, what you're doing? Uh, we are in um, deployment of the application with a variety of different customers in a variety of industries. It is not in full mass production, uh, but we are working to fill out both uh, customers and partners who can support us in bringing this to market. So this uh, this could be revolutionary for all kinds of consumer electronics and everything also? We are uh, banking on uh, it being revolutionary throughout the industry. It's the only um, CNT hybrid that's on the market today. 
And because it uh, gives you advantages that the others do not, we think this will be a real game changer. So let's say if you put it, for example, in a phone or a tablet, something like that, what does it, it, what does it improve in the device? So the first thing is it gives better formability and flexibility. So for the new flexible form uh, format phones that are coming out, uh, you've seen some very spectacular failures that have happened. Uh, as David had mentioned, the CNTs uh, encapsulate the silver. So if you're doing a lot of flexing and folding, it uh, gives you redundancy there at the, at, the, uh, at the joint where it's most needed. Are you talking about the reviewers who were testing out the Galaxy Fold and then they had some kind of issues with the screen breaking or something? Does it have anything to do with the part that you're doing? Or is it maybe uh, the uh, flexible AMOLED is also flat fragile? Uh, so the, the, the failure point in any of those is going to be at the joint. And if you've looked at any of the models of the phones that are on the market today, they have very complex and very precise um, uh, hinges to prevent any kind of cross uh, twisting. And it's that twisting that can cause the failure. So in, in both Samsung and in Huawei, you can see that they've, take, they've taken different approaches, but they put a lot of effort into making sure that that bending is just across the axis and doesn't twist. So <coughs> how's the performance difference between glass and, and your solution? Is it possible that you would be able, the consumer would be 100% happy with the, with the efficiency of the, the system? Yeah, so we are certainly going after the flexible market. We're not really interested in going after ITO on glass. ITO on glass is very mature and very stable, and so if the customer wants to just to be on a, on a glass substrate, we invite them to uh, continue with that, but if they have, have any need for flexibility, they have any need for formability, uh, then uh, our solution is, provides a superior and, solution. And here you're showing touchscreen? Uh, yeah, so we have a variety of different touch screens. So this, there's one on top of the other. So one is a um, resistive touch and the other is a capacitive touch. So on both of those, you can see it's, ve it's really quite transparent. What's the happening on the side here, the tracks? Uh, so those are the tracks? traces. Yeah, those are the traces that carry the um, signal back to the controller. So generally those are off the screen in a bezel somewhere, so uh, they're, they're printed in silver, that's common practice. But uh, people like to do those bezel-less devices, are you able to be bezel-less or is it specific to your technology, this, um, these tracks or? No, the tracks are, are typical to any flexible printed circuit and uh, we can do our best to hide those in an area where they won't be uh, conspicuous to the users. Nice, and what's this part here? So this is uh, transparent circuitry. So if you're an automotive manufacturer and you'd like to put LEDs in the middle of a sculpted surface, uh, this is technology that allows you to place the, the uh, LEDs right where you need them. So you can put LEDs right in the middle of the device? Correct, so think of uh, smart surfaces today. Smart surfaces are very popular. Uh, people want to be able to put uh, touch interfaces and responsive LEDs in the middle of a sculpted surface. This technology allows you to do that. And, and this is uh, an example of thermoforming. So there is unformed and formed. Uh, you can see that uh, we've printed the circuit a little bit uh, heavier so you can actually see the difference. But uh, even forming to this shape of a dome, it still maintains the conductivity that's necessary. That's, um, that's what's more like a formed, uh, uh, what's called formed electronics or uh, yeah, in mold electronics or formed electronics, this is the uh, direction that uh, a it's lot also of automotive huge. companies... It's also going to be huge, right? Correct. People are... It's automotive companies want to go this way. Uh, you can use this technology to build the, the heaters into um, uh, headlamps. So you can see the headlamps on cars today are very sculpted. And uh, how about this one? Uh, so this is a particular uh, invention that we have. We're selling in, in two different forms. So this is called our RF shielding film. And what this does is it protects users of uh, cellular phones from radiation due to uh, RF signals. So what this, this is a particular pattern in a, in a particular um, recipe of our technology uh, that will actually direct cell phone signals away from the user and back towards the antenna. So it does not degrade antenna performance, but it does lower SAR uh, exposure to the user by 25% or more depending upon uh, the, the phone model. And it can be in a, a OEM installation, which is the thin film, or aftermarket, which is the screen protector. And this is right on the screen, the, the uh, part that, that connects, that touches the ear and everything. Uh, correct. For the aftermarket version, the touch, it's a, a replacement to the screen protector that you might be using today. Uh, the best installation, though, is in the OEM situation where we put it into the display module, 
Uh, it actually provides better protection. So we invite any of the cell phone manufacturers to come see us. If they're struggling with how to balance uh, signal strength for 5G uh, and protecting the users from exposure. And uh, some people are a bit nervous about 5G. They say there's more all kinds of stuff happening with the spectrum and uh, uh, there might be a selling point to say that uh, you have a phone that's uh, safer. Correct. And well, the, what we're looking to do is talk to the design engineers because what this allows them to do is uh, tune or balance between the RF energy output that they need in order to get the signal quality with 5G uh, and the exposure to the user. So they don't have to make the compromise anymore. They can bump up the signal strength to get to the 5G clarity that they need but they can also provide this film that gives the uh, SAR exposure. And uh, how about if we go over there, uh, what do you talk about on the screen? Uh, you talk, people can the Google uh, CNT hybrid to see more stuff? Yeah, so we have a website at Chasm. You can visit us on chasmtech.com uh, or you can Google CNT hybrid and it'll bring you to our website where we have more information that people can see and uh, interact with. What more does, uh, has been shown in this video? So this is a thermal heating video. Uh, this is one of our transparent heaters as it goes through the heating cycle. Um, this is a one-to-one -one time, it'll go up to 50 degrees C, but this shows the response rate uh, that you can uh, experience with our uh, heaters. Is something uh, about the, the heating right there, is this uh, some other? Yeah, this is a variety of different samples that uh, we offer to customers. So a, a range of the recipes that we talked about um, earlier. You can see the different types of uh, transparency that's available with the different versions. Uh, plus this is a uh, example of one of those heaters that's uh, been printed showing the bus bars and how the, the uh, material is put down. So. Um so you have been working on this for a while, but uh, so what's going to happen next? What do you think is uh, in the company? 2020 is going to be a 2020, big year for this? 2020, I think, is going to be an extremely big year for the company. We're working with uh, Lighthouse name customers in all the different industries uh, on designing wins to their uh, next generation products that they're developing. Uh, so we're going to have a big year with respect to sales to end customers, but we're also uh, cultivating a, uh, a group of preferred integration partners that can help us bring this to market. And uh, where are you based and uh, what are you working on? Uh, we are based in Canton, Massachusetts, and we have a manufacturing facility in uh, Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, so between those two facilities, we cover both R&D and manufacturing of the product line that's known as Agent.